So how to configure the live load and the typical configurations will apply that I will show you. So before applying the load conditions, you have to check the required conditions here. So if you go to the define here, you can see the mass source. So element self mass and additional mass which are configured to your dead load will be calculated automatically and included lateral mass only and lump lateral mass at story level. So those will be available. Also, you can go to the load pattern where you can see the live and dead load and we'll also go for floor underscore finish and this will be in the live category and I'll give a factor later I will modify this so this factor also you have to give for floor finish of one kilometer and we are going to apply and these all configurations after applying you can check here load case the live load dead load and whatever the floor finish and if you go to the modify show here you can see the scale factor this scale factor based on the earthquake provisions because 25 percent of the floor load that we have to consider that particular consideration will configure and I will show you how to do that. So we have to configure this particular case. So we'll go to the define and we'll go to the mass source. So in the earthquake whatever the mass source you do configure that will be specified and this particular pattern will be configuring so before configuring this I will show how to add the live case live load case so I'll be applying to this particular structure but typically what happens the slab structure behaves abruptly while using that in the earthquake analysis hydro analysis so we have to use the very advanced option that is diaphragm to exactly convert the rigidity in the real manner so how to do that so you can go to the define diaphragm and this is the diaphragm one you can see rigid or semi rigid so i'll go for rigid, rigid diaphragm to behave the real floor behavior during earthquake so this is the very unique option so how i can use that so i'll go for select object type and all the floors i'll be selecting this i'll be converting to diaphragm assign and here i'll be assigning the property the shell property here you can see the diaphragm and this d1 i'll be applying here so once we apply this you can see this will be connected and this particular effect will be updated and that you can exactly see and this behavior will be quite different if you not use diaphragm now we can apply the load the live load of 3 kN here so i'll go to assign frame load shell load so we'll we'll apply the shell load and uniform load so i'll be selecting this select object type i'll go to floors and i'll go to assign shell and here i'll be applying under the live load 3 i'll go to apply and under floor finish to the same i'll be applying 1 kilo newton i'll go to apply so no object selected so select object type floors select and now you go for apply now you can see this unit will be applied and in case of live load whatever the unit we have applied that also will be updated now we'll configure the real load transfer case which occurs in your earthquake analysis so we have to configure the mass source very carefully so specified mass source live load i'll add to 25.25 so this 0.25 percent will be only added of the live load case so just i will delete this 
and live load 25% will be added into consideration as per the IS code the earthquake guidance and then you will go to the floor finish and I will go per 100% these are the mass participation or the contribution factor multiplier for the earthquake that we have to configure here and in this way we can finish applying the different load configuration and other factor to your project and then you can execute and create different load cases.